So this is a sleeping pad stress test. We have the Climate Static V2, the NeoWare X-Therm. See the Summit Comfort Light and the Big Agnes uh, insulated Q-Core SLX. So what we're gonna do is basically put them through a series of four tests on the desert rock and we'll see which one can last the longest. The test number one, lay down nicely, turn over to your side, over to your back a couple times, see how it does. Number two, kind of get down jarring onto your knees like you usually do when you get back to your tent after a long hike. You know, kneel down on it, then get onto your side, your back, move around a little bit. Then we're gonna walk over it, the length of it. And then the fourth test, the Perfect. surfing test. My we're basically just gonna run and try to slide on it and see if it pops. It's like a giant pool floaty. Yeah. It's so insulated, just like my feet aren't even hitting the ground. I think we uh, did some damage on that one. So the Big Agnes Q-Core SLX held up really, really well. It withstood, uh, you know, the first three stress tests, just laying on it, kneeling on it, walking across it just fine on all this desert rock. Um, the test I did it in, that was test number four, which is our uh, surfing test, or sliding across it. It finally did, uh, you know, make a little hole in the side. We just kind of had to ad lib and we're going with the test number five, which is the trampoline. Since this made it through two of the surfing tests, which I did not think would be possible. Static V2, test number six, another ad lib. We're calling this one raining boulders. I got it. I tried to throw it so I'd skip across it. But it got it right away. It actually poked all the way through to the backside. I mean, it made it through everything flawlessly until I picked up about a, I don't know, 30 pound rock probably and threw it at it and it put some pretty good holes in it, but that's on the top side as well. So the bottom side held up through jumping on it, through surfing on it, through everything else, all on this rock, on this desert rock. But once I threw it on the top side, it went pretty quick and it hit just dead square right in that air baffle. Don't think it made it. So the Sea to Summit Comfort Light made it through five rounds of vigorous stress test. Um, but once again, it succumbed to the raining boulders and kind of destroyed it a little bit. So don't drop 30 pound boulder on your sleeping pad and you should be all right. Big rip on the back. Seams dropping boulders onto a sleeping pad. A sleeping pad is a sure way to deflate them. 
So overall, no sleeping pad is safe from the boulder test. We kind of took a real life setting here for what would be a desert sheep hunt or something like that, which is where you're gonna get the most rugged sleeping terrain. Um, and they did phenomenal actually, better than I thought they would. And the Q-Core SLX, even though it didn't make it through the surfing test, I mean, honestly, the, the slit that it got in it is just just a baby Very little wild. slit, easily fixable from a, from a patching kit and you're off and running on the same hunt. Overall, wildly successful. This is actually the pad that I use. Pretty, uh, pretty happy with what it did. Overall, they all broke, they all failed. If you like it, you have a different sleeping pad that you use, you guys wanna see how well it does in a similar setting. We'll figure out how to uh, put it under the same test and, and see how long it lasts and see if yours is, is, yours is as good as the ones that we carry. So let us know what, what sleeping pad you guys would like to see and we'll do the same thing. Always game damage my products. I like destroying things. <laughs>